Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth. Today we are going to talk about max degree of parallelism. So max degree of parallelism name is just suggests that something like a parallelism. Parallelism means the multi-threading and the max degree means the processor. So it is related with the processor and the multi-threading. So to understand this, let's understand the diagram. So by looking at this diagram, you can see there are two views. The first picture I can say, uh, uh, this is for the single threading and another th another another part of the picture is called as the multi-threading. Let's try to understand. So uh, for example, I'm running this query and this query basically sent to the database engine and in, when it sends to the database engine, it only uses single processor, for example. And then the query get executed and it, and the then and the data get fetched from the DS and everything happens and the data gets sent to the query result. So by looking at this, I can say this is a single threading because only single processor has been used. Then let's try to understand the second one. So in the second one, I can say this is called as the multi-threading. How I how can I say it's a multi-threading? So for example, this is the single query and this query basically passed to the database engine. And when it passed to the database engine, it basically uses the multiple core processor. So by looking at this, I can see three processor has been used. One, two, three. Then then when all the processes get execute get completed its all operations then the data get combined and the combined data sent to the query result so this is called as the multi-threading so how how, how this number of uh, cpus get decided basically this is basically depend on your server configuration that how many processor you have and all those things i will show you so but uh, but just want to say one problem basically the multi-threading is that for example I have one query which basically uh, taking 10 minutes but you know when this query get uh, distributed among the multiple CPU the first CPU get executed in 3 seconds another CPU get executed in 5 seconds and the third CPU basically I have which takes a lot of time which is almost 10 minutes so what happened you know even though the task which has been basically passed to the first CPU it has been completed in 1 second and the task which has been passed to the another CPU which has been completed in 2 seconds but even though this task has been completed but they need to wait for other cpu to complete when all these three cpu complete their task then the result get combined and then it's sent to the query user so basically this is the problem when the uh, when the database is basically heavily used our server is on a heavy load that time this is very problematic so that time this is used basically this is good single logical cpu because it no it doesn't it does not need to wait for other cpu to complete because it is uses only single cpu okay this is basically the difference between the single thread uh, single thread query processing and the multi threading query processing so in short max degree of parallelism that it deals with the uh, multi threading and in multi threading it uses the multiple cpus and the query get is equally distributed basically among the multiple cpus and the when all the when the, all the process happen then combined data we pass to the user. okay so where i can set the max degree of parallelism value so you can set that max degree of parallelism value at the server level so you simply need to go to a server then simply need to do properties and then you need to go to the advanced in advanced you can see the block called as a parallelism and in the parallelism you can see the max degree of parallelism and the value for this server is basically zero zero means it will use the all the available processor so how do i know how the how many processor are there so you simply need to click on the processor and just expand it and see one two three four so this server has basically four cpu another way to confirm is basically here you can see the processors at the general so we have four processor right so for example zero means all four let's say i am changing from zero to one what does it mean it means that i am specifying to server that only use the one core processor don't use go don't go for the multi-threading but if i say two it means that if required then all only take the two uh, core processor don't take more than that so this is important and this is the value which we can set here another thing basically we can also set this value at the query level so for example i am having this query and i want to uh, i want to run basically this query is running in in multi-threading but i want to restrict it by to the single thread so what will i do instead of zero i will say one one means it will it should always use a one processor if it is two it should use more than two okay. so uh, let's hope you guys understood theoretically how the max degree of parallelism looks like and how we can set the value for the max degree of parallelism okay so hope you enjoyed our video related with the max degree of parallelism so if i want to summarize i can say it's a it's related with the only the multi-threading 
and and uh, it depend it is it, it is used to avoiding the parallelism in a query execution plan by the by setting the property or the by setting the hint at the query level so thanks for watching and let's hope you enjoyed it and have a great day